What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very quick short video on why I am returning my 14 inch MacBook Pro that I just ordered. Uh, let's kind of give you an idea here of... So, uh, it's supposed to arrive on Tuesday. Let's hope it focuses on that versus me. Who knows if it will. This thing has a mind of its own. Uh, but I'm going to give you a quick reason why I'm actually going to return this. Uh, a reason why I bought it. I actually prefer the Apple ecosystem, even though currently I have a Pixel 5. I do plan on moving back to that uh, atmosphere because I need a tablet right now, our 18 month old, while we don't like having him watch the screen all the time when we're traveling long distances, it's a huge bonus. And the only iPad that I really thought that I could recommend and use is one of the iPads. My wife has an old I have no idea. It's probably about five years old iPad. And when I looked at some of the Windows and Samsung laptop or, uh, tablets and Lenovo tablets out there, they just didn't seem to uh, fit my needs. The Android ecosystem is improving a lot better, but uh, I just like the seam seamlessness of the Apple uh, iPads. And with that being said, I'm going to just go ahead and jump in and go to an, an iPhone because I like being able to have iMessage in multiple rooms. It's really beneficial when you have a family, you have a lot going on. Uh, a lot of times I miss text with this or don't realize that I got one uh, if I leave the phone upstairs because I'm downstairs in the basement a lot because that's where I do most of my work and my video stuff at or when I'm at work and I'm not around my phone it's nice to be able to get notifications so I'll probably go back to the Apple Watch too uh, but the reason why I'm not actually going to keep this is because I don't need it it's two thousand dollars I currently have uh, Gen 2 ThinkPad P1 uh, which has a Intel 6-core processor, a Quattro T100, I believe, graphics card. And is this going to be the same power performance as the MacBook? No, no, it's not. Uh, but I do a ton of video and photo editing on this. I use this every single day. Most of the time it's in the kitchen. And you can pick one up refurbished right now through Lenovo for between $1,000 and $1,200. Uh, and it does have a few advantages over the MacBook Pro. It's 15 inches. It's more industrial. Uh, ThinkPads are known to be able to take a little bit more abuse, I think, than an Apple product would. I've beat this thing to death, and it still just keeps chugging along. Um, and I'm starting to really like Windows 11. I recently downloaded that on there. So uh, I've had this thing for over a year now. And while Apple has a good reputation for resale value, there's a million of these out here because they're mainly business-oriented laptops, and I haven't been, I haven't had good luck trying to sell it. So uh, I'm just going to keep it and return the MacBook because while I would love to get my messages on here, I don't need all that. I don't need the only thing that I really was happy about was the display, 120 hertz refresh rate display, and uh, it's probably going to be way more color accurate than this. This one is the Dolby Vision HD panel. I don't need a 4K panel. I need better battery life. Uh, which just gets like seven to eight hours. Uh, I usually have to charge it every two or three days, which is perfectly fine for me. I don't really need 20 hours of battery life or 15. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to it for now and return the MacBook Pro just because I don't think now's the time to spend $2,000 on a computer. Uh, we have an 18 month old. We are wanting to try for another one soon. We like saving money. We like paying stuff off. We want to pay one of our cars off soon. So that's uh, why well, I, I didn't couldn't justify the price point because this one works fine plan is to still try to sell this one and maybe just get like a macbook air or like a thinkpad like an x1 yoga or something like that for you can get a brand new macbook air right now with the m1 chip and it for 800 dollars at micro center so i think that is a better investment for probably 100 percent of the people out there i do not see a reason why you need a two thousand dollar laptop in this market Granted, I have a really expensive desktop. Well, I wouldn't say it's expensive. I have a, a, a mid-grade desktop with a 10-core processor, uh, a 980 Ti in it, so I don't need all that oomph. And even if I did, I have played around with the MacBook Air with the M1 in it and a MacBook Pro with the M1 in it uh, at an Apple store. I, I was there for about an hour. They let me put some videos on it and try to uh, kind of mess around with uh, even C-Log with, with Canon, which is a very heavy file. And it worked. I could make it. I could make it work, uh, which is uh, just about all you need. So that's why I'm sending this thing back. I actually tried to cancel it before it shipped, but it's already been shipped. So I have to wait till it gets here. I'm sure it's a gorgeous machine. I'm sure it's 
uh, revolutionary, especially with that display, but uh, it's just, to me, not worth the price point. And the more I looked at it, the more that notch at the top, I just don't understand why those are on the laptop. I know it's where the taskbar is at, but uh, it just wasn't, wasn't for me. So that's it, short video. Um, if you're wanting a cheap computer, I would get the, the M1 MacBook uh, Air because you can find them for about eight, eight hundred fifty dollars new uh, right now. They're eight forty nine through uh, the Apple Outlet if you want to go go that route, which is basically buying a new computer because you usually get a year warranty with it. Uh, if you want something cheap, go to the ThinkPad Outlet and check it out frequently. Same thing with the Dell Outlet. They refurbish machines. This is like my sixth refurbished ThinkPad, and it's I've never had any issue when I have. Their customer service is actually pretty good, even at the depot where you have to send it in, or you can take it to like a micro center or an authorized uh, place and have them fix it. I've had pretty good luck with it. So I just think in 2021, 22, spending $2,500 on a computer is probably not the best decision. Even if you have money to spare, we have, I mean, that's not something that we're worried about money-wise. Currently, we both have very good jobs, uh, but we, just don't it's just i just didn't couldn't justify the price point for that uh, so that's it uh if you have any comments questions i'm sure this won't be a popular video because there is a ton of people that love this computer and that haven't even touched it and probably don't even care what it costs uh, even though i really think it should have been priced a little bit a little bit lower but you do have to pay that apple tax uh, and i'm sure it's a gorgeous computer i really i love apple products when it comes to their performance ease of use just their form factor and the way their their build quality is top notch. Uh, so that's it. Have a good rest of the day, weekend, whatever it is out there, and I'll see you guys next time.